All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack. It's about 95 degrees outside. And I've been, uh, last week we were doing the, uh, just shooting out at the range on this guy right here. This is the Interrail uh, carbon fiber uh, tripod. And what I'll do is I've got a link down below uh, to my Amazon store if you're interested in buying this thing. This is ultimate. This thing's badass. It holds 88 pounds, extends up to 60 inches. And it's just solid. It weighs 6.3 pounds for you guys that are interested in doing some type of uh, traveling or camping or whatever. Now, the only thing that it does not come with, and I want to make sure I clarify this, is it does not come with this guy right here. This is the uh, the Arca Rail clamp. Now, this is by Really Right Stuff. Uh, I, I tried some other off brands that are right around the you know thirty dollar range, and it really just if if you're out here shooting. Uh, and doing something really high speed, low drag, huh? I said it. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is what you want. So go ahead and spend the money. And uh, but anyway, I had a lot of questions about the rifle that I'm shooting. Now I have had this rifle for quite some time. I have yet to do any type of review on it. Just to show you, you really have to. I don't know how much weight that is, but you can tighten this thing down. But anyway, that ball turret is just smooth as silk. Anyway, I've used this rifle in multiple videos in testing optics and my favorite optic, and you know what that is, primary arms, and uh, testing uh, also uh, accuracy and just doing other things. We've got the uh, Kestrel, and then I did go ahead and I've ordered the uh, Leica2800.com. That is the... Uh, laser range finder and we'll do a review on that later on but with in, in conjunction and it tying in with the um the kestrel all you got to do is laser the target and it will give you the dope right then and there boop you're done how awesome is that so anyway uh let's talk about this rifle a little bit i've got it up here on the uh the tripod i wanted to get it up here so you guys can see exactly what we're doing but this is the mpa this is their hold on one second this is the masterpiece arm 6547 ba okay uh this uh is chambered in 65 creedmoor i actually uh inherited this one thing in a sale with a legal transfer and all uh from my good friend uh, WTF SoCal, who goes by Jeep SoCal or something else right now, he he left one addiction and moved into the four-wheel uh, <laughs> drive addiction. In any case, he's got a great video where he goes over all the details on this thing, but uh, because you're here watching my channel, I'm going to share these with you right now. So anyway, Masterpiece Arms are right there in Comer, Georgia. Uh, this thing, again, is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, and it's specific to the 140 grain ELD, which is really cool. Now, the optic that's sitting up here is uh, being tested. This is the uh, 3 to 18. This is the ACSS Apollo reticle, and we're going to take this thing out last week. I, uh, I was going to test it out. And one of the things you have to do, and I'm just going over some basic information, is you really you have to true the reticle up. So the average zero, zero out of 100. And then what we want to do is I want to take it out to a, and I'll do the brief description because we are going to do a full-blown range review and accuracy test of the Apollo. Because this bad boy is set up for the 140 grain, and so is this rifle, which makes a match made in heaven. Now, we were ringing steel out to 1,000 yards uh, last week. And I didn't even have to calibrate it. But we are going to do that because what I want to do is I'm going to calibrate it to hit exactly on that 800-yard mark, which will give it a per perfect balance in a 1 MOA uh, circle. Okay, so let's talk about this. First of all, you got a really nice adjustable throw back here, uh, butt pad, uh, cheek well. They're both adjustable with these screw deals right here. Uh, one of my biggest things is, and I don't know if this is an Atlas bt uh monopod or not but basically they were the guys that came up with this thing so uh speaking of atlas and this is one of those things that i'll probably uh not use a whole lot just because in a dmr matches we're just not going to be using these but uh you can take it you can extend it down just like this i'm going to make sure you guys can see what's going on here and then you can go ahead and you can tighten up these are uh counter spun uh, washers right here pretty much you can bring those down and you can lock that in to where you want it to be just have to press the little button bring that back up there's a side button right there you bring that up in the position it locks up it's done pretty good uh is it something that 
again, would I use a whole lot of? No, not really. And one of the things I'm probably going to do is I'm gonna bring this thing up and tighten it as tight as I can so I don't get that movement. But one of the things I can't stand is rattles. But again, you got a neoprene little cheek weld right here. The chassis itself, now if you guys have a 700 action, uh, they do sell the chassis by itself. I think it's about 740, 800, something like that. Depends on all the uh, functions that you want. Cool thing about it is you can take this and detach it. One of these days, uh, they do make a collapsible uh, buttstock. That's something that I would really like to entertain in the future. Uh, really cool thing right here, you guys can see, is there is a bubble level and then it's concave so it's like this so what happens is if you tilt left it goes left if you tilt right it goes right uh pretty neat little deal there all right so uh this thing is chambered using the curtis custom axiom and i'm gonna tell you something it was really neat also uh it is has a trigger tech uh adjustable uh, trigger in it and you know how much I love my trigger tech uh, triggers matter of fact I love them so much uh, in the upcoming build in the elite build we're gonna go ahead and, and put the diamond back in that with the straight trigger but in any case you can see this thing this is a DLC diamond light coated uh, bolt it's spiral maybe you can see that right there and three lugs pretty cool the the, the coating's kind of wearing off right there it is lapping itself in and uh very nice all you got to do is you put this thing in here just like this just like any other boat if you're watching this you know what a bolt action rifle looks like uh on socal's or wtf socal's uh video also safety switches up here um he was getting an average i think 1.55 and then 1.2 and let me see what we're going to get here. 1.51. Let's do that one more time. I like those guys that get up there and they're like, as fast as they can do it. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, 14.6 ounces. <laughs> I like that. Uh, that was probably pulled off the bottom. Uh, when I do my trigger pull, I am pulling it pretty much off that lower one quarter section. I don't center up, I pull from the bottom. Yeah, let's do that again. So from the lower one quarter, one pound, 14.4 ounces right there. All right, anyway, good trigger system, pretty good. Um, yeah. All right, so uh, magazines, it uses the, uh, what is it, the AI magazines. These specific mags are the AICS. Uh, moving forward, we got a 20 MOA rail on there. I would suggest, guys, if you are going to be using the Apollo or any of the other reticles out there, the, um, the turret, uh, elevation turret, it's not going to get you what you need in order to bring it out to 1,000 or further. So go ahead and invest in a 20 MOA scope mount and if you got a 20 moa rail go ahead and use the 20 moa scope mount that gives you 40 moa uh built into the reticle and then you can go ahead and move this thing uh let's see here what else we got here spencer barrel specific for the guys at mp8 is a button rifling uh right hand twist i believe let's see here uh, and it's hand lapped on the front side uh this rifle is equipped with the arca swiss rail I can show you guys that right here and basically that's just this groove system that's built in right here uh it is and they call it the uh rapid adjustment technology rapid adjusting technology let me pull this uh i put this sling on here because i i noticed that that was one of the things that was missing from the last review uh also they have this adjustable sled rail that moves back and forth and on that i have what they call the uh this is the b b and t what, what model is that the bt65 nc cal or the cant and lock and the, i'll be doing a video on this bipod specifically and as you can see it has these legs and it has a rail a, a arc system built into it it does have a twist lock and one of the things is if you've had your b and t your other atlas you've got cant and uh traverse this one does not traverse all it does is it cants back and forth and extends out this 
this is a great bipod. You, they are just absolutely amazing. Matter of fact, I'm wearing my BT shirt right here. So anyway, we'll do a separate review on that. Uh, in order to put that thing back on there, you just flip it on like that, tighten it up. There is a top rail up here, and at one point, SoCal had a pick rail on it, and that's where you put your night vision. I'm not really a big time on the night vision. I did switch it around, and you can remove it, run it without it. And the reason it switched around is that usually it has its tail end right here facing that, but with the big platinum scope sitting on the Creedzilla right here, well, uh, it won't it won't make it without touching this. Out front, we've got a, an amazing uh, muzzle brake, and if you guys watched when I was shooting this guy right here, it never never moves. I mean, this is a six five Creedmoor. It's not really that big of a, a punch. Uh, however, it just it didn't move, especially on this tripod. Uh, I love the sitting position with this thing, these legs out wide. But I'm gonna tell you something, Masterpiece Arms, Comer, Georgia. You guys make an absolutely amazing rifle. Well, I tell you what, we're gonna be shooting this thing out some more this week. So now that you know what we're shooting, uh, yeah, it's uh, it came to me by the way of SoCal. Uh, for a considerable discount. I did not pay $3,300, $3,400 for this rifle. I can't afford that kind of stuff. But, you know, that's why I do. And I did a review. Uh, wasn't a review. It was basically precision rifles starting beginners. And we're going to be doing a series on that here pretty soon. Um, if you can find or get into these shooting clubs where people are shooting precision rifles, you can get rifles uh, secondhand that have just under a couple hundred rounds through them. These guys want to move up. He moved up to the AI. Since then, he got rid of one of his AIs, actually sold it to Pops Quest. And he and I are going to start doing uh, DMR competitions, which is the reason why I built the Creedzilla back there. Anyway, that's it. The Masterpiece Arms. Uh, this thing is awesome. Also, uh, it, has, it comes with this vertical grip. Everybody thinks this thing's pretty cool, and I would agree. It, it is pretty cool. But uh, I probably will go ahead and switch this out to a regular AR. It does uh, fit with an AR style grip. I'm a big fan of those Hogue overmolded grips. I run them on all my competition rifles. And one of the things I want to do is I want to remain and can stay consistent with uh, what I run on competition rifles. So in any case, I got to get back to work. My wife's giving me that look. I got to go out there and uh, clean up. Seems that Lowe's, I ordered all my materials because we get a 10% discount for veterans. Uh, they delivered about twice as much lumber as I needed. So if I'm not going to be building her a she shack, then or a she shed, then I got to go ahead and get that stuff organized so we can return it. Codeboy32, guys, if you like this video, if you have any questions about this guy right here, the Masterpiece Arms 6.5 Creedmoor, and again, this thing is absolutely awesome. Uh, yeah, mag release right here. Uh, you know, I want to just hit on the basics and answer your questions of what rifle this is. I always end it like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. All the other need jazz. I'm Cuddleboy32, and I am out of here. Y'all be good.